Hey y'all, it's Morgan, and I'm at my happy place. So, one of the things that I had purchased a few weeks ago was this Christmas cactus. It looked a little bit rough when I got it, but it has not improved much at all, even with the repotting with fresh, fresh soil. However, um, when I say fresh soil, I basically just added to what was already in uh, the pot that it came in. So I noticed something today, and this is a glazed clay pot. But look at this. Those are salts that are accumulating on the outside of the pot. And I realized that it has, of course, all these little fertilizer beads in there. Some of them look kind of spent, some don't. There's a good many just right on the top. And I believe what is happening is that the roots are possibly being burned um, due to the accumulation of the salts from being over fertilized. I think some of those are osmocote that is um, commonly used here. And osmocote um, does not release fertilizer with waterings. It releases with heat. And as it is, again, very warm here, I have a feeling that the osmocote, instead of being a slowly controlled uh, release, it is receiving a tremendous amount, this poor little plant is, at a time. So I am going to um, actually run some water through it and check it with a little um, meter and see how many, um, how much dissolved salts and solids is in it. So I'll be right back. Okay, so. I watered it, and by the way, I had already previously kind of flushed it, but I had watered it, and then I poured the, some of the water from the drainage tray into this little plastic tray, and it is at 320. Now, to be honest with you, I am not sure. Oh, oh no, 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 I'm sorry. Look, times 10. So... Yeah, that's a lot. So I'm going to repot this little guy. Um, I actually had already repotted another one. Again, I really have to start thinking about videoing um, before doing some of these things. And hopefully we will get a better reading after the repot. So let's see how it goes then. So I haven't repotted yet, but oh my goodness, look how many of the little fertilizer beads are in there. That surely can't be healthy for any plant. Okay. Hold on. Okay guys, I had to clean up the workspace a little bit. So also, just to make sure that we're being fairly accurate, I have a little cup with just plain old tap water. So, and we have about 95 parts per million. Let's see if you can see that. Well, okay. 98, 99, 100, oh goodness, all over the place. So around 100, not bad. Now, so I repotted, still kind of dirty, um, and I poured some of the water that came through into this little bowl, and it's kind of dirty, and let's see what we have. 335 times 10, not a whole lot better yet. Wow, that poor little plant. And um, I had, when I unpotted it, I cleaned the root ball, sprayed it with water hose a good bit, and um, actually kind of broke the soil apart a little bit and sprayed in there some, trying to remove as much as I could. So I'm going to flush it a couple more times and see how it does after that. So after another flush, this is coming down a little bit. It's at 200, but it's still times 10. So a little more work to do. With yet another flush, we are now down to 162, still times 10. Wow.